Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Hopcast. Hey, thanks for joining us everybody. I'm Brad Chalewski. My name is Ken Hunnameter. If you don't know who we are yet. Yeah, you probably do, but you know. For Reminders. The new, for the newcomers. Yeah. And a reminder. Yeah. But today we're going to be doing some barrel aged, uh, actually they're both bourbon barrel aged right. beers. Which really isn't surprising for us. <laughs> we it's actually... like January something or other. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty chilly out, so we're going to warm up with some, some big bourbon barrel aged beers. Makes sense? it is January, and the Hopcast Beer of the Month is Kentucky, Bre or, right, Kentucky Breakfast Stout. <laughs> I was saying Kentucky Bourbon Stout. So. <laughs> Might as well be. We're drinking that. All right, yeah. I've been sitting on this bottle uh, for a couple of years now. It's a 2008, and uh, I can think of no better occasion than to uh, enjoy a little bit of bourbon ale. With everyone out there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give this a pour. I'm sure it looks all thick and black and delicious, but uh, let's check it out. Well, as we suspected, black. Yeah, pretty pretty thick, black. Um, if you can rustle up a little bit of real dark tan head. Uh, not much to speak of, but it is it is there for being such a big beer. This one's like 10%. Right. And we have little glasses because it is 10%. And, and we are we, responsible drinkers. <laughs> and we had uh, people to share with here. So That's true. We can't be hogging at all. That'd be rude. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. <laughs> Glad you could be with us. Yeah, and um, we're having a discussion about what exactly is the Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Uh, one would think that it's essentially just the regular breakfast out that's aged in bourbon barrels. Uh, yeah. But there's a myth out there that it's right. not. I this... thought I read on their website or another website that this isn't just barrel aged breakfast out. Mm -hmm. So it's its own thing that's barrel aged. I mean, to me, I could, I, it smells very sim similar. I'm sure it would have to be right. Why would you? Why would you necessarily make? something completely different maybe mm -hmm. you knew it was going to be barreled so you changed something right i mean you, you certainly get all those like bourbon notes and as well uh i get a lot of chocolate um oh, i was drinking so. oh <laughs> <laughs> I went for it. only but the yeah. guests are allowed to do that you're supposed to know by now that we do aroma first <laughs> but yeah def tons of chocolate coffee and that yeah the oat the oats come out in it too as well so all right i'll catch up with you cheers it tasted great spoiler alert <laughs> awesome it doesn't have the burn that no. i know the fresh one or at least i was enjoying the 08 or 09 recently and that still had a bit of burn to it so um yeah the the, the flavors are all pretty mellowed out and, and blended together. I mean, it's still got a, a, a kick to it. Um, I kind of feel like maybe I held on to it a little bit too long, but I tend to like my beers a little bit more fresh. Okay. Um, it doesn't have a, it doesn't taste old though. It doesn't have no. like a musty. No, it's not musty. Uh, so. Um, it's delicious. Maybe, maybe a little in the aroma, but not bad. Hmm. So. I mean, you get a lot, I mean, it's, what's cool about this beer is the fact that it's kind of like a hodgepodge of all those different stouts. It has like <laughs> chocolate, it has oatmeal, uh, it has coffee. It has bourbon. Everything that you have for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so it's tough to dissect because there's so many damn things going on, but um, certainly enjoyable. So and I'm already feeling a little flush. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> So what is uh, the regular breakfast stuff coming in as alcohol-wise? Is it... I thought around eight. It's only... Okay. Only eight. Only eight. So so that if... I could be wrong. If it was the same beer, it, it's not surprising that it could pick up 2% from the barrel. Um, I've Because that's pretty average, right? Depending on... I, I think 2% is on the high side of things, but I've, I have heard people picking up a couple percentage points. Depending on how wet... It is. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm. And by wet, when 
the barrel, the, the freshness yes. of the barrel. <laughs> Not how ready it is for the ba- beer to go in. <laughs> 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 well. What is it, two o'clock? <laughs> it's later than that. Yeah, but this is uh, certainly, certainly a prize. Um, so, so maybe we're thinking two years, a little long, maybe age them for a year. Well, you know, that's just my taste. It's certainly, I mean, it's not infected or anything like no. that. I'm certain it's it's still a fine fine beer. I'm sure Which a lot is, of people would enjoy it like that. this. It's a screw top on there? It is a screw top. So that's, that's a shocker. Um, it didn't get any air in there, right? Yeah. Uh, I think that since then they have switched to the pop-offs. Ten percent screw top beer. <laughs> yeah, kind of funny, and and you know, because the the old like, I think up to two thousand eight, the Bourbon County stouts were all twist tops as well, and they've they've also switched over. So kind of funny. Uh, it's it's odd. To, <laughs> it's like a tailgate beer. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe if you have a a wait, you might want to drink it now because it is a twist off. And Perhaps those do, those could cause some problems. You know, I look at it this way: if you drink it fresh, it's probably going to be pretty good. <laughs> if you age it, it might become bad. <laughs> that's just we all can't you know, drink as fast as you can. <laughs> that's my philosophy. Just like, well, I have it. I probably should drink it, but uh, that's how I get into, into trouble. Right. That's why you need to buy a lot of it so you can keep one and drink one and keep doing that. Like. Yeah, I think I bought... uh, What's the prime point for it? I think I bought this, like, just the single bottle. Okay. Like, that's all all they were selling. And so, previous to this, the only time I've ever had it was uh, on draft. Um, They do a couple different variations of the breakfast stout. They have another one, which is my favorite, was the Canadian breakfast breakfast stout. Oh, yeah. Which has a little maple syrup in there. (sighs) That's a phenomenal, phenomenal. Right, we had that on tap... uh... Up at, uh... We're on the way back from the Racine Brew Fest, and we stopped at Uncle Mike's in Kenosha, yeah. and that was that was a good stop. Charlie doesn't remember, <laughs> but it was fun. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, great beer if you can get your hands on it. Um, drink it fresh, drink it old. It's gonna be good. Okay.